Many people are slamming trade these days. They blame it for lost jobs and stagnant wages. But we've had NAFTA, the pioneer of trade deals, for 21 years, and Texas has done just fine. This is Mitchell Schnurman with the Dallas Morning News. In the early 1990s, we were working on a major trade deal with Mexico. Our own Ross Perot, then a candidate for president, said there'd be a giant sucking sound of U.S. jobs being pulled into Mexico so companies could cut costs. Many jobs did move south, but job growth in Texas often led the nation. Population surged with lots of immigrants from Mexico and other U.S. states. Many companies moved here too. Free trade does create winners and losers because new partners often do things cheaper. The garment industry was a force in El Paso, but it moved into Mexico after NAFTA. After we signed trade deals with Caribbean countries, much of the garment work moved there. Other factories in other industries were once clustered around the Texas-Mexico border. Many have moved deeper into Mexico. In their place, new opportunities emerged. Logistics, warehousing, transportation, and high-end services in legal and financial. Free trade forces countries to adapt, improve, and find ways to add value. The transition can be painful. Over 169,000 workers in Texas have been displaced by trade in the last 20 years. Many who lost manufacturing jobs got much lower paying work in services. But blame technology, not trade. That's more responsible for squeezing middle class jobs and wages. Even China is replacing people with machines. In a world where everybody has to compete harder and smarter, Trade is one more pressure point. This is Mitchell Schnurman, and this is my commentary.